Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and today I want to talk to you guys about a game that was announced at the Game Awards the other night. I haven't had an opportunity to talk about this yet and that's a game called 9 to 5. Now, they really baited me with their trailer. It started off saying from the developers of Max Payne, Quantum Break, Arma 3, uh, and then it jumps into this, this like animated bunnies hopping around with guns. You guys are seeing it on screen here. I, uh, when that happened, I was like, I was in, I was so, so in when they were wrapping off some of my favorite games in, in my opinion of all time. Uh, Arma being one of them, Max Payne being an absolute classic. And looking back at this generation of games, I have to say Quantum Break was one of those games that was essentially a sleeper hit for me. Uh, Remedy, dude. Remedy, Bohemia Interactive. And then they showed these animated bunnies holding guns and I was like, you know what? This is exactly what I should have expected. In, in 2019, 2020. It's just bullshit nobody asked for, but of course they baited you. And then it turns out that this is a tactical shooter being made by, in my opinion, some of the, the greatest names in in shooters, in, in narrative-driven shooters, in, in games like, like Max Payne and, and Quantum Break. And then you have the tactical Milsim with Arma 3. This, what the fuck? Like, what is this? And it turns out we don't have a lot of information on the game. You guys can sign up for the alpha right now. By the way, if you guys enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe, do all the good things. But it's essentially a tactical shooter. It's a three on three on three tactical shooter where there's three rounds and it's a tactical objective based team oriented shooter. And in which basically what happens in the first round in terms of how you complete the objective changes the way the game is played in second and third. And it's a game that CEO Matthias Milrin, I hope I pronounced that right, probably not, but it's, it's a game that they're basically saying they're, they're making a fresh take on the tactical first person shooter genre with a strong focus on teamwork over twitchy reflexes. This is interesting to me. This is from, from the sounds of it on paper, right up my alley. We got a nice CG trailer again, no fucking gameplay, nothing like that. I was a little disappointed. We know it's first person. I wanted to see kind of what to expect. If we're going to get some sort of like Rainbow Six style, slow paced movement, the CG trailer kind of, kind of paints that kind of picture. But again, we literally know nothing about this game. We know that it's set in the near future. Corporations rule everything and they basically, they employ mercenaries to get things done, to complete tasks and complete objectives. So yeah, matches in nine to five are, they, they basically put three teams of three players against each other with changing objectives, which is pretty interesting. Every round has an impact on the next. So performance matters and strategies will have to be adjusted to compensate for these changes. Now, I don't know if this is changes in terms of like level geometry, like a levolution system, or if it's going to be, if we happen to complete this objective first, does that like throw the future out of whack? Some sort of butterfly effect shit to where now everything's changed. We got it. Like, I don't know how they're going to pull this off. Obviously, we need more information. Now, the quote here from PC Gamer, a lot of modern shooters are often too chaotic and random to really let you enjoy them. And like, in some cases, I kind of agree. I think if you look at like a boiled down version of like Rainbow Six Vanilla, I think that was very simplistic and boiled down and you know, that that not, like yeah, it's chaotic, but it's not so fucking chaotic in terms of like, like a, a ground war in modern warfare or even like a modern warfare team deathmatch style game. Um, Nine to five, we're challenging players with creative new mechanics to bring back that classic feel of playing with friends, finding your role and working together to outplay the competition. Doesn't have a release date. It's expected to begin alpha testing in 2020. And unfortunately for the YouTube algorithm, I can't talk about this game for over 10 minutes. So that that special mid rule ad, it, it ain't coming. I'm not going to pretend I'm not going to stretch this shit out any longer. I just want to know what you guys think. Let, let, let's have a little chat. Let's have a little discussion down below on what the fuck this game is. The fact that this studio, I believe they're called Red Hill Games. Red Hill Games, a studio founded last year by the former CEO of Remedy. And they got some names in there. They got some talent, which is which is really interesting to me. I think if Red Hill Games wants to go down this tactical shooter genre, I'm, I'm totally okay with it. I mean, really, it sounds like it's right on my alley. But let me know what you guys think down below. Like I said, if you guys enjoy the videos, make sure you are liking them. We're about to hit 129,000 subscribers. I think by the time I upload this, we're going to be at about 129,000 
we're grinding, man. We're working. We're going into 2020 with a bang. And I'm really happy to see that tactical shooters in 2020 are about to be fucking lit. We got Ready or Not potentially coming into beta in June, unless there's some sort of delay or something. We have 9 to 5 potentially going to alpha testing. We got a lot of shit on the horizon here, and I'm super excited for it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Big Fry. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, what the fuck are you doing? Click that button. Make sure you guys get notified. Tap that bell. Turn it to all. Click all the things. Do all the stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh,